Good morning everyone, today we're back as a homeowner. I've been on the PC since I woke up probably 45 minutes ago, but why don't we head on outside, get a few yard projects done, and hey, maybe if we get them done early, we could play a little bit of farm sim. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below, and if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button, as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. But guys, it seems like a pretty nice fall morning here in Georgetown, New York. Here the leaves are starting to fall, which is pretty exciting, but let's see if we can find Diesel. He's always running around here. When we own five plus acres of land, he uh, has a lot of area, and he definitely gets a lot of exercise. Come on over here, Diesel. Uh, oh yeah, look at He's going to start to run the moment we give him some food. Oh, yeah. Come on, Diesel. Get some food. We'll give him an extra treat as well. Uh, he always likes that there. So, guys, I've talked about it here for probably about a month, month and a half here. Really, ever since we built this garage. And that is, guys, I want to do a full build here. Floor and cabinets, compressor, really everything, including a car lift here. Since you guys see, we do have quite a few toys. And, well, guys, cabinets have arrived here. We actually have to go pick it up in town. I guess the delivery truck dropped it off to the supplier. And we have to go pick it on up here. So, I think we'll probably just take uh, the uh, Duramax with the uh, trailer here. But I will say, guys, I think a car lift will be pretty handy. Especially uh, to store both the sport cars here and I am probably going to look to see if we can get a yard shed that way we could put the lawnmower all the hand tools and things like that in there that way they're out of sight and uh, especially after you mow the yard uh, if there's a little bit of wet uh, lawn it does kind of smell up the garage here just a little bit but hey let's get the Duramax let's get the trailer and let's go pick those up I hope everyone's been having a fantastic weekend so far, having a great day. Let me know how it is down below here. I'm really excited that fall is here. The leaves are starting to fall very soon, guys. We're going to have to get some Halloween decorations. We got to go uh, to the pumpkin patch, maybe an apple orchard, if we could get the entire family together. I think that would be a pretty sweet thing. But with the dually, guys, this is a pretty narrow uh, opening here, especially along that side when we try to fit two uh, big trucks in the garage. All right, we should be good to go there with the trailer. Really nice and simple. And I will say, guys, this truck is pretty sweet here. But I actually do want to do a few modifications here to it, which I am pretty excited for now. One of which, guys, I really want to get mud flaps, or I believe uh, we can actually get mud flaps uh, that actually are attached to the hitch area. So we might look into doing that uh, because going on these uh, kind of back farm roads, I have noticed that we are uh, kind of, the tires are really kicking up uh, some rocks and things like that so I think that would be pretty helpful the other thing guys I just kind of want to change it up a little bit maybe add a headache rack toolbox things like that uh, just to make it an even a uh, cooler truck all right, we're just coming into town here. I believe the distribution center, the warehouse that we're actually picking up on is here to our left-hand side here. Wow, that was actually a pretty short drive here. It's only about 15, 20 minutes into town from where we are. And oh yeah, look at that. They are, already have it outside here. Now, I did send them a text message uh, this morning that I would pick them on up here. This was actually ready for us, I believe, Thursday or, uh, or maybe even Friday. I was just busy. We're working, doing a few projects. But hey, the week weekend is a perfect time to pick things up here so here we have it guys we are going with garage cabinets here i think total was right around 3200 3300 dollars here with tax and everything included here but you guys can see we got cabinets we got some lower uh cabinets here we got some uppers and some different uh types and everything like that here now we should be able to just put these on the trailer no problem it's probably going to be a little bit of uh, lifting heavy lifting for us here but yeah we should probably put those in the middle and then the small ones on either side here but guys i just like uh doing custom garage builds making the garage a uh, kind of a pretty cool area for us because hey we like cars we like toys and uh, off-road everything and uh, uh they all kind of go in the garage as well so we want a nice looking garage I'm putting the last of the straps here, making sure we don't lose anything going down the road. That wouldn't be too good, especially when we just spent a lot of money here. But really quickly, guys, I'm actually strapping down the pallet, not going over uh, the cabinets. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, we don't lose it, but I really don't want to dent it, a scratch it, anything like that. And I think we should be good to go here as well. But I'll catch you guys back at the house. And uh, I, I really do like that. With the power of editing, we could just skip right over the driving back uh, from town to our house which is probably 15 20 minutes 
Guys, I don't think I'm gonna have time today or even tomorrow to get these installed here, so I'll probably do it during the week, and I'll showcase it showed in the next uh, episode here at the property, but what I'm thinking, I actually wanna leave them on the trailer and just kinda back the trailer in, and I think I'll probably do that later on here. I do have to move the uh, Jeep Wrangler and uh, probably have to shuffle things around here. That way, we don't have to keep moving it, and uh, we could just move the trailer out, and uh, that would be the way to go here. But guys, I was just looking at my phone, Phone. My buddy just sent me a text here. There's an ATV for sale here in town. It's $4,200. Looks to be a pretty good deal. And I already sent the owner a text message that will be on the way here. So let's take the F-150. Let's go check this thing out. You guys know I'm always looking for new toys here, and I think this is a pretty good deal here. It does look to be a Honda. I'm not sure exactly what year, what model, or how many hours it has on it, but hey, this would be a pretty cool add-on here. Now, we do have an electric quad, but uh, there's nothing better than hearing a gasoline engine on a quad ripping around the property here as well. Now, we already... Uh, oh, yeah, I don't think we need the truck ramps. We could probably just have someone help us lift it on in here. So, let's go uh, back into town, and I do... I think I might stop for donuts or something or maybe a quick uh, bite to eat because it's right around lunchtime and I'm pretty hungry. We're passing the local diner and now I was going to stop but I think we'll stop on the way back here. I really don't want to lose this because this seems like a really good price and everything's really hard to find right now here. Now it was actually at a local shop. Oh yeah boys here it is. Wow that is a little bit on the smaller side for a quad. Well guys, here's the ATV we came to look at here. Looks to be a Honda Recon. Looks to be in pretty good condition. One thing I am noticing, guys, the front tires are a little bit narrower than the rear, which I think is probably going to give you good traction, really good steering, and this thing does look pretty cool here. Now the key looks to be in the ignition. I think we'll get it turned on here. Looks like the hours is pretty low, and we'll just kind of take it for a quick spin here. Now he did say he's inside working and that we could uh, kind of uh, just uh, take a look at it here, and if we wanted it, uh, to go check it on out, but guys, I definitely want this here, so I'm going to go make a deal. I think, guys, I'm going to try to do a little bit of negotiations, maybe try to get it for 30, 3900 and then we could take it on home, so I'll catch you guys back. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Well, guys, the quad is ours here. I got it for $39.50, under $4,000, and I think this is a pretty good deal. Now, he was telling me brand new this is right around $6,000, so I think we uh, worked out pretty good here for us here. But let's see, guys, if we could get it loaded on up. He said he's a little bit busy working, and if uh, needed, uh, he could come on outside here. But uh, he'll have to work a little bit later on here. Yeah, no problem getting it loaded in a little bit heavy uh, for us, but oh, yeah, we're going to have to keep the tailgate down here oh yeah it looks like we just don't have enough room that's uh, okay there but let's hop back on the inside and i do want to uh, stop uh, bitey now i'm thinking guys instead of the diner hey why don't we just go right next door Guys, I'm thinking instead of a hamburger going to a local diner, I'm just going to come here to the donut shop here. Now, they should have. i just kind of go up to the window here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I will go inside and I will uh, grab a donut here. I think they're only like a dollar, right around a dollar fifty at most. Well, I got a chocolate donut here. This should be a pretty good uh, uh, snack here for us. And hey, I would just cook something up on the grill here when we get back to the house here. But I'm really excited uh, to kind of give this Honda a try here. It is a pretty cool model. Now, I haven't really seen one of these in Farmson before, so it is pretty cool. And I hope everyone uh, is enjoying these types of videos here. The Homeowner Series, guys, is a ton of fun. And let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite part about these videos? Uh, since we do so many different things here, but I will catch you guys back at the house. Wow, time flies when you're out and about doing many different projects here. It's already about 5, and I think it's almost time for dinner here now, so I think we're going to uh, leave it here. I'll get it unloaded after dinner, but I do want to go play a little bit of Farm Sim, so I think I'm going to put down the camera now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.